Well, how's it going, guys? This is definitely not a Skyrim video. Um, I'm playing Morrowind, and I just want to rant a little bit about why Morrowind is so much better than Oblivion. Because I've recently, well, actually, about like, I don't even know, like three or four months ago, I, on, on the Xbox app on PC, I bought Sky uh, Oblivion and Morrowind both at the same time. Because they were on sale. Oh my god, I'm, I'm being fucking attacked. There's a cliff racer, oh shit. I'm being attacked, okay. My hits are not landing at all. My endurance is too low! Die, freak, I'm trying to make a video. Yeah, cliff racers are pretty fucking annoying. You need to, please, please just die. Holy, okay, there we go. Brody did not want to give up. Goddamn. Let me dispose of that corpse. Jesus. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, as I was saying, I bought both Oblivion and Morrowind because they were both on sale for like, I don't even know, like 30% off or something. Like, I, 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 they were on sale for some amount. And I bought both of them with the intention of branching out and making more videos on those games because at the time, I felt like I made pretty much all of the videos I could make on Skyrim. My god, by the way, this is actually a beautiful game. Like, actually beautiful. Maybe it's just my- maybe it's just my early 2000s kid nostalgia, but I genuinely think this is a beautiful game. If you're able to look at the game as what it is, and not as a 2002 game, you will actually think it's beautiful. Now, I'll admit, it took me many attempts to get into this game, and I'm only just now actually getting into it. As you can see, I'm literally level 2, and I have nothing more than iron armor and, like, the starting, you know, Iron Shard Axe, but this game is so much better than Oblivion for one. There seems to be much more of an overlap between Morrowind and Skyrim in terms of pretty much everything than there is an overlap between Morrowind and Oblivion. And the reason I like that is because I feel like Obliv Oblivion just feels so out of universe, in my opinion. I know that sounds crazy because it's literally taking place in the home of the Empire in Cyrodiil. So to say that that's out of universe feels ridiculous. But the way the game plays and the way the game looks does not feel like an Elder Scrolls game to my eye. And it's actually it actually turns me off the game so much. Talking about Oblivion, of course. Like, Morrowind, like, y you look at this, you automatically know this is Elder Scrolls. Like, without even thinking, it just registers in your brain this is an Elder Scrolls game. And I mean, like, look at this bridge, bruh. Maybe I'm just, like, way too, giving it way too much credit. But, like, just things like this just are kind of cool. Now, Morrowind is kind of a hard game to get into, I have to admit. It took me, um... What the hell am- I'm in the- where am I? Who are these Ar Argonians? Is this like a slave camp or something? Excuse me, Master, are you gonna help me, please? I feel I am not without your help. Ada, poor Argonian. Can you great one recently escaped from the Dren Plantation? And I, very cool, they were. Um, kindly red guard, I've just- I've heard- wait, what? Um, yeah, I'll help you if I can. Okay, cool. Um, anyways, yeah, this game is hard to get into because the way it works is so different than any other Elder Scrolls game and because it's an odd game. So it was made for the early 2000s, so if you're not playing it like it's a game from the early 2000s, it's pretty challenging. I mean, look at this though, this is a pretty sick place, like holy, look at this Khajiit. Most, um, most Khajiit and Argonians are like slaves, it's actually kind of dark. <laughs> I don't know why I should laugh at that, but Jesus. Um, yeah, it's pretty hard to get into. The way the combat works, it's actually a dice roll. So you know in Skyrim, whenever you hit an enemy, you hit them and it does damage. But in Morrowind, that's not necessarily the case. Right, let me just quick save, yeah. It, it, it's a dice roll. Depending on your stats, you have a chance to hit them and you have a chance of damage. So you see, my axe does anywhere from a 1 to 32 damage, pretty much. So it's not always strong. Sometimes it's a pretty weak um, axe, actually, which is kind of crazy. Um, my journey ends, door for bringing me to this place. Thank you. Oh, was I, was I leading Tool? Was I leading him to this place? Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention. I just completed that quest without even thinking. Damn, well, you're welcome, Tool. See, this is a beautiful spot. I really gotta get a mod that extends the render distance. If the render, if the render distance wasn't, like, literally fucking Minecraft alpha type render distance, I think I would love this game even more. But you just can't see everything. Man, look at all these big ass mushrooms. What was I even saying? Oh yeah, the combat is a dice roll, which can be pretty off-putting to a lot of people. But after playing the dog shit Elder Scrolls 1 arena, you know, I kind of got used to the dice roll thing. They actually 
could appreciate just how refined Morrowind actually is. It's a very nice break from like all of the Nordic and Imperial stuff that you find in Oblivion and in um, Skyrim. Not to say that it's bad to have all that Imperial stuff, but it just gets samey. And this is kind of a, like, a, it's the same kind of fantasy type vibe, but like in almost in a different universe, but in the same universe, if that makes any sense. Where the hell even am I? These, these people got a big fucking manor, holy crap. Well, um, where even am I? Yeah, the map kind of fills in as you walk around. As you can see, I've been kind of fast traveling to each of the different cities and like, I have a bunch of them unlocked, but I don't have the paths to them unlocked. It's a little bit uh, funny, I guess. And my acrobatics just leveled up. Yeah, if jumping around gives you like XP for uh, acrobatics and athletics, which is pretty interesting. If you haven't played Morrowind, uh, sorry, if you haven't played Oblivion, that would be a pretty weird concept to you. If you're itching, to play an old Elder Scrolls game, and you're thinking about Morrowind or Oblivion, I would urge you to please choose Morrowind. It might- it's gonna be harder to get into, but the payoff will be massive. Oblivion's easier to get into, but in my opinion, it's a less good game. Not to say that it's an awful game, like, I know I've been kind of shit-talking it this whole video, but it's not like a dog shit game, like, it has- it's- it's decently fun, and if you look at it right, it does look beautiful in some ways, um, and it plays better in some ways too, but I just think Morrowind is- feels more Elder scrolls -y to me, and I'm sure a lot of the people in the audience who are much older than me, who actually played this game when it came out, I'm sure you can- you know, relates to that pretty heavily. I know a lot of the old Elder Scrolls fans who played, you know, Morrowind as the first one. To them, Skyrim probably feels not like in-universe. Which, I mean, I can understand that, because the way that everything's changed and become much more streamlined and mainstream appeal and everything, I can understand why a lot of people would think, um, Skyrim is actually out of, you know, series. Where the hell am I? What, 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 what place is this? I don't think I've been here before. This is a weirder. I think I have been here before. I, oh, what the hell? That just kind of loaded in. Where am I again? This is Fort Northwall Plagiad. Yeah, I think I have been to Plagiad, actually. This is a, this is a nice imperial village. If you watched my video about the different cities in Morrowind, you'll be able to identify the difference between an imperial village and a, um, a Dunmer one. The difference is actually pretty stark. Uh, let's see, where where am I going? Let's go to Balmora. Yes, Balmora is actually very close by, so we may as well just walk towards it. By the way, I, th this is my sprinting speed. <laughs> when, 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 you, when, when you hold a W, you, you walk, and when you hold a shift, you run. However, actually running everywhere you go is actually punishing because it uses your endurance. If you look at the bottom, you see the green bar? That's my endurance. Jumping and running uh, use your endurance, and you actually need to have high endurance because the higher endurance you have, the higher chance you are to do a lot of damage, and the higher chance you have to actually hit an enemy. So when you're walking around inside of dungeons, it's deeply beneficial to not jump and not sprint, even though it is incredibly annoying to play the game like that. So th that's one of the ways it's actually harder to get into Morrowind than uh, Ob Oblivion. But the fact that- well, I think Oblivion actually has a very similar endurance system. It's not as punishing from what I've been able to tell. It's, it's similar, but it's not the same at all. This place is pretty flowery. This is Morrowind before the Red Mountain erupted, by the way. That's why it's not completely fucked. But I guess that's pretty much everything I wanted to say in this video. I guess I kind of just went on a bunch of rants. I didn't actually say anything. I just ranted a lot. But it's a video I wanted to make. I definitely will make Oblivion videos at some point. But right now I'm kind of on a Morrowind high. So I'm going to keep making videos on this game. Where the hell am I? I'm not even close to Balmora. I think I took a wrong turn. Oh shit, we got an enemy. Oh shit, come on buddy. Do you want to fight? Hmm? Well, we're going to fight anyways, buddy. Oh yeah, look how I just two-shot that scrub. Absolute noob. Well yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I um, really, really appreciate it. It means a ton to me. Make sure you guys do drop a like and a... What the hell is that? Okay, that's a freaky fuck. I'm not going anywhere near him. Yikes. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Stay awesome as always. And uh, yeah, peace out.